So take out your uh, labs, and as you're taking them out, we're going to talk about why we did this lab. Why do we burn something? Okay, why do we burn something? And because right now we're talking about energy. It's our energy unit. And so we burned a candle. And when we burned a candle, you're like, well, obviously, a candle gives off energy. Right? In the form of heat and light. That was our first, uh, that was our first, um, number one, the answer to number one, a candle gives off energy. Right? We burned a candle. And then you did that little test, and you had, you had the candle burning, and you held the test tube over it. <clears throat> and inside the candle, you saw some water on the sides of the test tube, and you saw that black stuff. And it was determined that the black stuff is carbon. And then our, uh, so we said that water is being given off, it's a product. And we said that the black stuff is carbon, that's a product. And then we did the brom dimol blue test where you shook it up in the test tube and we determined that the other product is carbon dioxide. So that was what we got from burning the candle. And what does that have to do with anything? Well, let's go to the next page. And you flip the page, and on number 8, you have a picture of a candle burning. And then four hours later, you have the candle looks like that. And the question is, what is used up? Well, what's used up is the, is the wax. And then we did the test where you put the... Uh, where you kind of did like this, but you put the beaker all the way over the candle, and sure enough, the candle went out, and it was determined that, well, that's because candles, fires, need oxygen. You learned that back when you were a younger kid in one of your elementary classes. So, let's take a look at that equation then. The equation then is wax plus oxygen yields CO2 plus water plus carbon plus energy. That's a chemical equation. This is what is required, reactants. This is what is produced, products. My question for you is, what is it about the wax, what is it about the wax that makes it give off heat and light? Well, you could ask the same thing about anything that we use for fuel. If we're going to burn, sometimes we use paper for fuel. Sometimes we use wood for fuel. Sometimes we use gasoline for fuel. And in burning, all of these things give off carbon and they give off energy. Why? Well, remember from one of our sets of notes that I'm going to draw, this looks like a bunch of C's with lines around it. What it actually is, is showing the structure of uh, a fuel. And fuels are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons have bonds. These are called chemical bonds. Remember covalent bonds? Chemical bonds that have a lot of energy. And so what happens when we burn wax is we break these chemical bonds and these hashes are showing like there's water there's oxygen and hydrogen molecules here so if you break off those chemical bonds if you break them you get energy out it's a breaking reaction we talked about this a couple days ago that breaking reactions have energy go out so as we burn the wax as the wax burns it's slowly being broken apart, and the energy from it is being released slowly. The interesting thing about wax as a fuel is it burns slowly. These bonds are broken slowly. Unlike something like gasoline, where if you had that much gasoline in a spot, it would burn rapidly. So what does this have to do with living things? Well, living things do something called respiration. 
and you have this written somewhere. If you don't, you should. Here's the equation for respiration. Fuel, we call it glucose. Notice, hydrocarbon plus oxygen, which we get from breathing, yields carbon dioxide plus water, and we use it to make ATP. So, our, it's not burning. Why isn't it burning? Why, can't, why don't we really burn our food? We don't really burn our food because, first of all, we're not producing carbon. So, otherwise, we'd have black stuff pouring out of our ears and stuff. And we don't. You don't have any black stuff pouring out of your ears, as far as I know. Okay? So, you don't produce carbon. The other thing you don't produce is light. We wouldn't need a flashlight if you produce light as a byproduct of respiration. If, if light was a product of respiration, we, you know, you never need, we didn't need electricity. Everybody glowing up, we could see everywhere we're going. We do produce a little extra heat. So, the idea was that burning a candle is very much like what you are doing inside of you every day. All of your cells are doing cell respiration. They're taking glucose and breaking it down slowly into carbon dioxide and water. You're breathing this out. This is going out and making ATP. It does it in a three-step process, which we're going to look at with a little project. And the three steps are called glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain.